Welcome to my 2011 EECS Teacher of the Year lecture on wearing purple. What is the main challenge of teaching? The main challenge of teaching is that the objectives of the students and the teacher are not aligned. For instance, as a teacher, my objective is that the students learn the course material that's in the curriculum. Of course, the students want to learn material that's, that's relevant for their lives or their careers. And this may not be the material that's in the curriculum. So to resolve this issue, you have to trick the students into being interested in your material. So I chose today's topic with uh, illustrating this general principle. And so I picked the topic wearing purple, which where my assumptions are, you could care less. And yet, it's somehow relevant, and I have an incentive to get you to understand wearing purple so that uh, you and the rest of the Northwest community can wear purple regularly and better. So those are my assumptions. And so now what are our objectives? So your objective is five minutes of entertainment, and my objective is to raise the bar for uh, the EECS department wearing purple. All right, let's start the lecture discussing color schemes. So there's a theory of color schemes, and you're probably familiar with it uh, based on the color wheel. And as an example of colors that go well together, you can look at what's called split complementary colors, where you choose a color like purple, and then you go opposite it on the color wheel, and, uh, but a little bit off-center, and go for a lime green and a, a mustard yellow. So that's the theory of color schemes. What's the practice of color schemes? In practice, buy a necktie, look at the colors in the necktie, and wear colors that go with the colors in your necktie. Why does this work? Well, people who are paid to think about color schemes uh, were the ones who designed your necktie, and they've already solved this problem. Uh, I want to give you a word of warning, though, is that color schemes are not Northwestern. Northwestern's colors are purple and purple and white. And wearing purple with lime green or with mustard yellow is not Northwestern's color scheme. So in preparation for this talk, I attempted to recruit members of our community to model uh, the good and the bad of wearing purple. And unfortunately, I only got one volunteer. So we're going to be seeing a lot of him. So on the left, I have the bad, uh, purple with a lime green shirt, which is not Northwestern. And on the right, I have the good, which is purple with white, which is uh, very Northwestern school spirit. So since you can't wear purple with other colors without not being Northwestern. You have to wear purple with something neutral that doesn't stand out as being not Northwestern. So what are your best choices for neutral bases to wear with your purple? Well, my top two are gray and, and camel. And so here's an example of our model wearing gray. And here's another example of our model wearing camel. I put the gray and camel above brown, black, and blue because uh, they tend to be more, uh, more muted. A word of warning, though, about a neutral base, purple is not a base color. You should never, under any circumstances, wear all purple. OK, it's time to talk about non-purples. And there are many colors out there that are similar to purple that are not purple. And these are not Northwestern. So, I have on the left maroon, and on the right lavender. These are not Northwestern. Don't wear non-purples. Uh, a final note for professors before I close. Uh, professors have it easy because if you're uh, dressed as a professor, you're probably wearing tweed. And really, tweed is your best friend. Uh, many tweeds actually have uh, built-in flexible colors, like purple, that go very well with purple. So here, our model is wearing a tweed coat with a tweed tie. Both of these have little hints of purple in them. To conclude, 
about wearing purple. Buy a tie. Don't add other colors. Instead, wear a neutral base of gray or camel. Beware of non-purples if your professor wear tweed. And do not, unless you're graduating, wear all purple. See what I mean by that? Check the Wikipedia page for wearing purple. Thank you very much.